Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, ma'am. My name is Messi Obiozo, and I work with the Life View Insurance. Is there any way we can help you? Uh, sir, I was actually wondering what my company can do for you and your very lovely family. You know, I was rushing over my lunch when I got thinking, what would a life insurance policy do, you know, to keep the magic I see amongst you last forever? You saw magic here. Oh, definitely, ma. Thank you. What's your name again? Mercy. Mercy. God bless you. Thank you very much, ma. Um, here's my card. I would love to follow this course on the life insurance policy. My number is right there. Thank you for listening to me and have a nice meal. You too. Bye. Bye. Sweethearts, see what I've been telling you. Hmm? It took this young lady a moment to notice how beautiful we are as a family. You should make more time for us to go out as a family. You know I try my best. With all my tight schedule. I still look out for you. You know that. But I promise to make out more time. It's I promise. Thank you. so much money and I will not sit here and watch you break all of them. For Christ's sake, can't you use that thing God put in your head called brain to think? Must I do all the thinking for you all the time? Mm -hmm. Sorry, Auntie. I'm very sorry, but I, I don't understand. Why didn't you tell me that the tea in the house has finished? No, Auntie, it was really small when I made tea for you. And it didn't occur to you that someone else would need tea in this house. I'm sorry. Couldn't you have used your little initiative to differentiate between the word finished and remaining small? I'm sorry. Your what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I'm going to get my daughter's breakfast ready. Stupid thing. What's, what's the, what, what, what is the screaming about, huh? Why not go inside the kitchen and ask that thing, that question? What feels about me? I'm sorry, sir. I didn't know I was talking loud. Okay. Um, when you're done, see me, man. Yes, sir. You could have simply given her the money to buy the provision instead of beating her up. Huh? Chibo, beating is an effective corrective measure. I don't see anything wrong with Especially that. Especially when it is not your child that is at the receiving end. How many times am I going to tell you to take care of that girl, to treat her like a human being? She's your niece, for Christ's sake. Was I the one that promised her dying mother to take care of her? The dying mother was your only sister. And she loved you. She loved you to the extent that she was even ready to come here and stay with you because she wanted to be close to you. She loved you. Why don't you just treat this girl with some dignity? Chibo, don't you think it would be wise for you to go out there, rent an apartment for her, and buy her a car? At least the whole world will see that you're treating your wife niece nicely. 
I'm also well informed that you promised to take her through her university education. <laughs> but one thing you must understand, my dear, is that our own daughter must be well trained. And in case you've forgotten, my dear, our house rent is due. So spend wisely. House rent and kids and all that. Have I ever shied away from my responsibility? Has there been any time that I was supposed to pay my daughter's school fees and I was not able to pay it? Am I owing anybody as far as the rent of this apartment is concerned? Are we talking about rent and kids and all that? What we are talking about here is, is about your niece. Treat her with some dignity. She's your niece, your blood, your, your, your family. Oh. All right. to eat that with boiled eggs. Ebe, I was going to fry your egg, but there's no oil in the house, so I thought to just... You're bigger than me, but sometimes the way you behave, I don't think if your brain is any better than mine. Do you want to beat me? Because I told you a simple truth. Nancy, beat me. Go ahead and beat me. Beat me! I don't want to beat you, Ebe. Good. I want scrambled eggs. I said I want scrambled eggs. I didn't ask you to take them away. In my search for freedom, I've been through hell already. In my sad confusion, I've seen it all. I can take it no more. You made life hell for me I just wanna be free To rule my destiny But someday Dream my dreams will come to pass So someday Can I get this off my mind? Oh, someday yes. Can I live life and be happy? You said I should come and see you when I'm done with what I'm doing. Um, yes. Yes, I did. Um, Nancy. You see, in life, there is nothing that is permanent. There's nothing that is constant. What I'm trying to tell you is that whatever you're going through today in this house is not permanent. The fact that you're going through a whole lot of stress in this house doesn't mean that it's going to continue like that. It doesn't mean that it's going to continue forever. I know that at some point there will be a change. Okay? Yes, sir. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yes, sir. All right. Um, you will... Uh, What you have there is 10,000 there. Go to the supermarket across the road and uh, get all the provision we need in this house. Yes, sir. Um, this is enough to buy everything 
we lack the best house. Yes. So go out there and go and buy it. Go! Chibo. 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 I've not been able to understand what is going on between you and this girl in this house. You claim that you don't have money. But you are just giving her 10,000 naira. What was the 10,000 naira all about? Eh, Chibo? So because we now share separate rooms, that is why you cannot bring her into your room anytime you want, eh? Okay? Separate rooms again. Separate rooms. Huh? You practically forced me to pay for this, uh, this apartment. It was your decision that we shared separate rooms. Why are you whining about separate rooms now? Huh? So bringing her into your room is the only way that you show her that you treat her well. Look at you. You claim that you don't have money. If I didn't come in at the time I came in, you would have given her 10,000 naira just like that. But immediately you saw me come in. The money now changed to provision money. <laughs> Chibo. Hmm. Well, you've always had this wild sense of imagination. So whatever you're thinking now is not a surprise. If that's the, your perspective on the fight to keep my husband, so be it. But the most important thing to me right now is that today is my lucky day. Chibo. What do you mean today is your lucky day? Why are you looking at me like that? Have you forgotten that I requested for a hundred thousand naira for my ancestors? Uh, since you've started the sharing process, uh, give me my own at once. I don't have any money to share. <laughs> Chibo. <laughs> You're lying. You're going to give me this money right here and right now. She bought my money. I'm talking to you. Give me that money. You're looking for my trouble. Oh. You're looking for my trouble in this house. Oh. Huh. My money. Your bill is 5,300 now. Please, Check my bill. Please come to the mail text. No, go ahead. No, finish with that. It's fine. So bring me the five thousand and I'll bring the balance later. You know what? Let her go. Just put, put the money on my own. It's fine. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Choma, Mercy, Jesus, Mercy, what are you doing here? Mercy, what happened to you? Why are you looking like this? Oh my, it's a long story. Look at you. You know what, babe? I, I'm in a hurry. I have this very important appointment I need to keep. Okay, so what you do is just call me. Give me your number anyway. Uh, Let me I just call you. So we'll sit down and talk. I, I don't have a phone. What? N Nancy, you don't own a phone? Oh, oh. Oh, I, I don't. On? What is going on? You know what? Let me give you my card. Nancy, make sure you call me, okay? Just try and call me. Let's sit down and talk about this. I don't know what's going on with you. Look oh, at, look at you. There you go. Yes, yes, yes. I got you. I'm so happy to see you again. <laughs> Just God. make sure you call me, okay? How much is my bill? 12,500. What's her own? How much is her own? How much is her bill? Every, Everything is 12,500. Okay, all right. Thank you. There you go. Nancy, make sure you call me. Okay, I gotta run, sweetie. Have to run. Take care. Thank you. Be careful. Of course, I will. Bye. Right, bye. You look good. Call me. Oh, it's mine. Give me cold milk. Wait, give me.
Hey, ice block chillam. You know kill well. Make I bring him. Bring him like that. Thank you. No worry. Make I bring open up. No worry. No worry. Make I bring open up. Get above this pain. I mean, do you know that my father actually left my mother when he realized she was very, very sick? I mean, how, why, why would, why would he leave her when he realized she was very, very sick? Nancy, you see this life. Some men are actually idiots. I know, Mercy. And then I'm so angry. Like, why didn't she tell me? Why didn't she trust me enough to tell me? You know, she actually asked my grandmother not to tell me anything about it so I don't worry myself till death. She told them to only tell me when she's dead. I mean, why? I feel bad because she must have gone through so much pain and suffering all alone. Nancy, it is well. I'm sure God knows best. You're right. He does know the best. I mean, he has to. I'm sure he knows why my aunt, who used to be so loving and caring, has suddenly turned her back against me. Look, if your auntie does not want to take you with her, you're still in a good place. At least, you have your grandmother. You're yeah, right. I still have the good old lady. Yeah, that's what it is. And I'm ready to win this game. I won't let you. Watch me. I won't let you. Watch me. <laughs> Mercy. What is it? What is wrong? Why are you crying? My father said he cannot afford to give me money for my jam form. Jam form? But that doesn't cost much. I know. But he doesn't have it. Mercy, if you know your dad can't afford it, then why are you crying? Nancy. Nancy, have you ever seen the face of a man? Who wants the best for his child, but cannot afford it? Have you? He can, he can break any heart. It's very heartbreaking. Do you know that my father actually shed tears? Like he cries because he cannot meet up tomorrow's deadline. That's it. I, I see. Didn't we agree to go to the university together? Let me go inside the house. I'll give you the money to buy the jam form immediately. I will. Mercy. I will. You, you give me. It. Oh God, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. You have to stop crying. Okay. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. So, what happens now? I don't know. But I... I guess I have to reach deep down into my soul and realize that maybe going to the university was never a part of God's plan for me. Mercy, you have to be grateful to God. You have to be extremely thankful. You passed the exams and got admission. I failed woefully. You failed because you refused to let go of your mother's death and move on. Then see, there is nothing you could have done for her. If you had let go of all those emotions and sentiments, I am sure you would have done even much better than I did. 
But no, you you wouldn't. You won't understand. You won't understand. What has happened has happened. I still have my fears about the school thing. What is that? If we had gone to school, Mercy, how would we have survived? School fees, accommodation, feeding, and many other things. Nancy, me, me, Nancy, I would have survived. If I'd stepped this my feet into that university, I would have survived. Just like everybody out there is surviving. I just wanted to go to school. Mercy, you're more than a friend to me. You're my sister. You were a source of encouragement to me in my moment of despair. You comforted me when you let me stay at your grandmother's. Thank you. What is that? Why, why, are, you, why are you telling me this? The miracle you've been praying for is going to become a reality. I'll give you the money I've been saving for you to go to school. It's been four years, and instead of things getting better for a kind-hearted person like Nancy, she ended up a house help, probably, or something worse. Life has never been fair. Thinking again? Ah. I need you to wake up from this self inflicted punishment you are giving yourself. That is the only way you will not end up dead like your mother. She did everything to stay alive for you. But death was stronger than her will to survive. My daughter, Nancy, you have a good heart. Unlike your mother, you are an angel. Remember, you are an angel. Hmm? Let's go inside. are nothing but a little demon. No matter all your manipulations, no weapon fashioned against me from you will prosper. I'm stronger, mightier than you. See, I'm in a very good mood. I don't want to beat you. No, I don't want to touch you. Just respect yourself and give me the money you took from my bag. Daddy's stealing money from your bag. 
I didn't steal your money. You didn't take my money. Okay. But you were out there drinking malt and biscuit. You think no one saw you? Ebere saw you on her way back from lesson. So if it wasn't my money, who bought those things for you? Auntie, you said I shouldn't wear clothes that has pockets. Where would I keep the money? I, I didn't take your money, Auntie. <laughs> Nancy, you think you're smart, hmm? But I'm going to teach you that I'm smarter than you. Where are you hiding that money? Tell this to you. Save those coconuts for those that need it. Give me that money now. You think I'm joking? Uh, come closer here. Come closer here. Oh yeah. Come here. Uh -huh. The next place is your pants. Oh yeah. Raise your dress and pull that pant down. Carry the money. There's no money there. You think I'm joking? Come on. I didn't carry the money. I didn't take your money. of this you you're stripping her gentle jack the defender of the oppressed so i don't know why you're walking at the wrong place at the wrong time and you i'm not done with you yet Susie, huh? you see what you just said now? It's an understatement. Just. If I step my feet in America, in fact, if I step these two feet of mine in American soil, <coughs> me, come back to this country. Talk about the what? You can't wait till I keep our cockery. <laughs> what is it? Is there a problem? Wait a minute. Did you say ever go to America? I thought you were born in the States. Or are you no longer a citizen? You know, sometimes I just wonder if you girls don't have cold air by where your brains are supposed to be stored. Cheers! I was born in America. And that makes me an American citizen, right? <coughs> See, due to some circumstances, my mom just couldn't explain to me. She was like, Chica, you have to come back to Nigeria. Oh. But since I became an adult like this, I've not been there. That's what I'm saying. Ha! Because. I know, as an American citizen, you're meant to be given a VIP treatment back to the States. Exactly. What are you they talk? What are you saying? Have you been to America before? Sorry. Do you even know how they operate there? No, you don't know. Exactly. Same. Do you know how they operate? No. If you want to grow, listen more and talk less. Yeah. That's how I grew and Thanks became big like this. Yes. I listen to people Thanks and I talk much. less. Uh, sure. Ha. We have to listen, so we'll learn. Oh! Messi, welcome. Messi, welcome. You're welcome, darling. How are you doing? Are you um, okay? Um, well, yeah, I'm just going to get some rest. Are you okay. sure? Okay. Sure. Okay. Uh, uh, Chica, uh, yeah, before you run, you see, don't even take Messi's entrance as an excuse mm -hmm. because you are definitely going to get to the root of this. Yes. You're lying, girl. What are you What's talking that? about? Wait. See, you must <laughs> catch her in this life. Seriously? Okay. Where were you? Enough of it. One year. And what was the states? Which one would I answer first? Mine. Just stand and by telling us. Just hold on. Messi is not feeling too friendly. Have to see her. She can't see her. Are you running away? Are you running away? Are you running away? She's not running away. 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 Um, I don't know where to start from, but I want to say that um, I'm sorry for all the pains you've been going through in this house. See, candidly, this is not the kind of life that I planned for you. But I want to assure you that I, I will make it up to you, okay? Thank you, sir. Jake, 
I want you to buy anything you want, buy a few things for yourself and especially make your hair. So you look good. But don't do this. Your late mom would, would have approved of this if, if she was alive. Please take it. Please. Thanks. I have sold my conscience now, so I'll survive as a journey long. I pray things fall alright as I play in this day. God wash me once again, oh, someday. Pray my dreams will come to pass, oh, someday. You're coming out from Master's room. What is it this time? Well, maybe. Just maybe. Maybe if you learn to ask nicely, you will find answers. Chibo, why not go and marry her officially instead of you sneaking around in your own house? Well, you mean. I should marry your own niece? <laughs> Can't you hear yourself? Can't you hear how ridiculous you sound? Anyway, I am just coming from her room. That's true. And I went to tell that young girl that there is nothing that is constant in life. That there is nothing Absolutely nothing that is permanent. Hmm? You're satisfied? And uh, for your information too, I gave her money to make her hair and buy a few things and make herself look good. If you're not ashamed that such a girl would leave your house looking that miserable, Sometimes you surprise me. You scolded me a few hours ago for searching her. And you went behind me to give her money to make her hair and buy clothes. Chibo, you told me you didn't have money when I asked you for one. So suddenly now money just appeared from nowhere. <laughs> You're looking for my trouble, Chibo. I swear to God, the day you will have that trouble. Hmm, this house. You see this whole house? It will be so small for you, me, and your new wife. Noted. Miss Rebellion. Through my search for freedom, I've been through hell already. In my sad confusion, I've seen it all. I can't take it no more. You made life hell for me I just want to be free To rule my destiny The Sunday Pray my dreams will come to pass The Sunday Can I get this off my mind The Sunday Can I live life and be happy Someday, wanna take back what is mine. I have turned the evil way to make things work. I have sold my conscience now, so I'll survive as a journey long. I pray things fall alright as I play in this day. God wash me once again, oh, someday. Pray my dreams will come to pass, oh, someday. Can I get this off my mind, oh, someday. Can I live life and be happy, someday. Wanna take back what is mine. 
Sunday, pray my dreams will come to pass. So Sunday. Is it the one? Uh, I don't think so. Hello? It's Nancy. Oh, hi, Nancy. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. Wow, it's so nice of you to call. Oh, yes. Mercy, Mercy, we have to sit and talk, like you said. We really have to. Wow. <sighs> Babe, uh, I don't know. This your sad story has just killed all the joy I should have had meeting you again. You know? But it's well. Okay? See what you'll do. Find time, just make out time, call me, and then let's meet and talk. I'm sure there's something we could do for you. Okay? It's well, don't worry. Thank you so much, Mercy. Thank you. God bless you for me. Alright, I'll call you so we can see you as soon as this time. Alright, dear. It's so nice of you to have called. Take care. Be careful, alright? Bye. Thank you then. Bye. Bye. <sighs> oh, wow. Hey, Venetia. Katina. Katina. Thank you. Bye. This is my very good friend and she's such a nice girl but I think she's in some kind of trouble or so, she needs help. I thought it was a client, Seth. <laughs> Don't worry now, the client will definitely call Ha! And you think the same tactics is going to work on him? Look at you. If you could work on a man as intelligent as Chief Batmos, then who the hell is this one? <laughs> How did you work on Chief Batmos? You don't want to know. I was in this fast food restaurant and he was there with his family, his wife. So he looked very rich. I mean, I could tell from a distance. So I walked up to him, introduced myself. You walked up to his table? Of course. There was nothing to be afraid of. I was well dressed so I could pass for a finance executive. So I, I, I got there, introduced myself. Uh, so let me take this one. Hello? Good day. Yeah, that would be me. Oh, yeah, sure. It, it depends on the kind of insurance policy you're looking at. <laughs> yes, you're right. It's correct that, um, you know, beautiful girls like us make a fortune in marketing. But I guess that's no news. What is news is the services being rendered. <laughs> well, yeah, we have a um, series of packages, you know, some of which are quite expensive. But, you know, you don't look to me like the kind of man who would die in 50 years. So, what do you say I said, my girls? Yes, my girls. They will take very good care of you and make the remaining years of yours on Earth most memorable. Uh, you know, I gotta go. I, I have a client on the other line I need to take, okay? I gotta go, you back. Okay, bye. She just dropped the phone. You drove him away. Hell no, I didn't. Well, if he goes back, then he's my man. If he doesn't, too bad. There's so many rich, vulnerable, and gullible men out there waiting to be exploited. Mm. Jesus. Missy, this is wickedness. Yeah, eh, I swear. I must try this one. Uh, <laughs> I must try this one. <laughs> As I did yes, oh babe. I bow down and lie down before your royal wickedness. <laughs> okay, Jesus. Jesus. Christ. And I know they go school job. Like I don't see what's in the apple. Every day. Hey. <laughs> you know, okay, I'll just stick around. I will blow your mind. <laughs> I am gifted. This one is called talent. I apply to. On 
honestly, I have to be very sincere with you. I don't like the way you're handling this issue. You have to mount enough pressure on him for him to pay. You're there telling me that you're doing your best. And I'm telling you that your best is not enough. You should be putting pressure on him for him to pay. Not to listen to his pleas. Man pressure on him to pay, to pay this rent, unless you don't want to get the money I promised you. Just man pressure on him, he will pay. Okay. All right. Okay, bye. This is talking. Good afternoon. Did the phone How are you? I, I did fine. I did fine. Don't, you think I won't buy? Nothing. I don't want to buy anything. Um, Abuki, I need you to help me do something. I need you to help me buy a phone. Mobile phone. Eh? The one I used to make call? Or is it the name of another biscuit? Mm. Make paru. What is the problem? I just need you to help me buy a mobile phone. Phone. Kai, Nancy. Kai, you won't make I buy phone for you. I see they do business small, small. And you won't make her use the money? Oh, no, no. Not with the money. I'm, I'm going to give you money to help me and buy the phone. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, this one is your transport. Yeah? Mm. Two, three, five. This one is for the phone. Tough, no problem. I'll buy it tomorrow. I'll buy it when I'm coming for my business. Can you go? No, no, not tomorrow. Today. Today, it's very important I get the phone today. I'm going to buy something for the house now. So by the time I come back, you'll have bought me the phone. Please. No, no problem. No problem. I'll go buy it. Don't forget to buy a SIM card. SIM card for inside the phone. Thank you. Thank you. Which kind of trouble is this? Who are going to leave them for my shop for? How about? Anyway, this game I better somebody. I'll go buy them for that. I'll go buy them for that. insult is what? Do you think you've grown wings that you can fly now? You cannot take care of business now. So why are you mm. asking me? Take what care is, of your business, What are you dear? talking about, Chica? When did I ever insinuate that this? Please don't play smart one. Oh well, as far as Messi is concerned, you are so, so history. Are you serious? Yes. See, Chica, please beg her for me, please. Eh? Please beg her for me. Please plead on, her, plead on my behalf for me, please. I'm begging you. Anyway, so plead with her. Uh, Little devil like Mercy is going to be very difficult, you know. If I can get like maybe 50k, I'll manage. Chica! Uh -huh. 50 Since I get your. Oh, yeah, come Hey, then you do now. Nah. Okay, I have 50,000 now. Bring it. You Please like money too much, Safe. You like money too much. You don't like, not bring. When you reach your turn, not like money. Safe. You safe, not for you. Why they use bread? All right, <laughs> take care. Please, you push me, just leave me alone. Relax. I came out to just have my phone. So, so we are doing it like together. Please, you push go. Where's my trophy? Say, you push go. Oh, whatever, just leave me alone. Hey, 
hey, hey, hey. Nice try. But he's mine. You know, the next time you want to walk around and disturb the peace of gentlemen like that, don't do it while dressed like a cheap tart. <laughs> Hey, baby. Yeah. And what was that? Honestly, I was doing nothing with them. Well, you don't have to explain. I already know who they are. They just move around looking for responsible men like you to divorce. They are quite irresponsible. Thanks for your understanding. Oh, yeah. I do understand. But for making me witness such an ugly incident, you have to make it worth my while. Jesus, what your wife? I will. You will? Yes, I will. Do you have a life insurance? Insurance? I really don't know how she pulls it off. What are you thinking? I have always wanted to do it on my own because of the money she cuts from our fees. But I have not been able to get even half of what she gives us. I have always ended up being treated like a cheap harlot. But with her, it's all different. And so? Look, Funke, I know where my bread is being buttered. And I will do anything to make up with her. Even if I have to go solo, at least not yet time. What nonsense are you talking about? Listen to me, what she's enjoying today took her time to build. Listen girl, just stick with us and you don't have a problem. Stick with you. Yeah. <laughs> Look Funke, I have big plans and big dreams. And to be sincere with you, sticking with you guys will not help me achieve my dreams. Okay? She, she, she has grown wings. She thinks she's too big. Don't worry. By the time I clip her wings and her ankles on this campus, she'll realize what she, who she's playing with. Messy, less messy. That's what you call me, girl. Oh, this girl. Mm -hmm. So, one minute, please. Just okay. You know, I've actually told Thomas to come and apologize to you. <laughs> but I don't know why she's finding it so difficult to do so. How are you, too? Then? I'm fine. I've been calling you since. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. It's okay. Anyway, I just came to school to do some things, shy. So let me just, you know, know what's up in school. I know you're representing me. I know you now. Come on, she, you know you got no problem. <laughs> no, she has grown now. Ah, she's now my mate, so she can behave anyhow. Don't worry. By the time I'm done dealing with her on this campus, huh? She will realize who run things around here. See, I owe you one, seriously. Mm. Let me find you something. <laughs> Check up, baby. Mm -hmm. uh. You manage this money, yeah. Just manage it. I'll show you the height. I'll sort you later, yeah. All right. Thank you. you have Take no care, problem. yeah. Huh? Bye bye. It's nice girl. Yeah. Sometimes you can be useful though. Please. This one, sorry. Hello? Yeah? Oh! Of course you know I always deliver your specifications. Of course. And you also know the regular price? Right. Oh my god, why are you so stingy? You have this money. Just invest it on us. And stop being stingy. Jeez. <laughs> okay, no problem. I will be there. I'll see you. Okay, chat. Bye. Girls, mm. we've got a deal. Oh, you know I love it when you say those words. I know. <laughs>
So 8 p.m. today, tonight actually, 150,000 each. 150? That's not bad. <laughs> the guy though, we got a good. The pay we play. I don't know. Messy, less messy. We just run this campus. There's nothing we can do about it. Yeah. You, you buy the food. Mm. Ah, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You buy the same carabi? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very, very much. I really appreciate it. Okay, I'll, I'll call you back. I'll call you back later. All right then. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Horrible smell I'm perceiving from you. Is there no soap in this house for you to take your bath anymore? Or is it your rotten intestine that is smelling? Jeez. I'm not smelling. Nancy! Are you calling my mother a liar? No, leave her. Leave her. We'll soon know who the liar is. I see you're smelling. I'm not smelling, Nancy. Okay. When last did you wash your clothes? Not to talk of the dirty undies that you're wearing inside. Auntie, I'm not dirty. Now we we'll know who is dirty now. Now remove that cloth. Auntie, I'm not dirty. I said remove the cloth! Auntie, I'm not You're still agreeing with me? No. Okay, you want me to. Now remove that cloth. Auntie, I'm not dirty. Remove the cloth. Auntie, I'm not dirty. 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 Auntie, I'm I am just going to pretend that I didn't see this, okay? Uh, you, to your room. Quickly. Is that all you're going to say, Shibu? So you're signing her now in this house, Abby? So you're signing her? Just go, you'll meet me in this house. We shall see. I will... That was chief of the line. He wants to see me right now. Like now? Can you imagine? Paul has been calling me. I didn't even hear the phone ring. Notice all the noise we were making in this car. Mm -hmm. um, I would advise you don't call Paul. Because if you do, <laughs> it's not going to be good for business. 
But if you call the old man, you have a thousand and one reason for you not to see him tonight. Oh, he really wants to see me now. And the thing is, I have something very important I want to discuss with him, you know? Something that is financially beneficial to me. And don't forget, the car. So what are you going to do now? You will take care of business, won't you? The idiot that wants to sleep with three girls is in room 403. So what you'll do is you will call one other person to make up the number. Okay. Um, forgetting something. Yeah, the dress code, please. It's very important. Don't forget. It's one thing that distinguishes us from all those bomb shots wearing street tarts that you find along the streets. So. Okay? No All right, babes, I trust you, okay? Don't let me down. No Handle business properly, okay? I'll see ya. Ciao. Bye. Hello? Mercy? Where are you? I've been calling your line since and you're not picking? Look, as I'm speaking with you, I'm parked right in front of your gate. I've been honking my car horn for hours on end and no one is opening. What's happening? Paul, I'm sorry, okay? But I was at the department and it was very, very noisy. You know, so I just, I, I just couldn't pick up your call. You know, I would never intentionally keep you waiting. So why weren't you picking your calls all the while? But you know what? I don't have the time to have all these discussions. Wait, are you talking to me like that? Well, oh, look, okay, fine, I'm sorry. <sighs> Poor. Look, I never intended to talk to you in that manner, but the thing is just that, you know, there was a shootout on, you know, on my campus and every man is a suspect. It was very serious. You know, right now, my, my only sister is trapped in the building and I need to get her out. Wait! There's a shooting in school and you still want to go in there to get someone? Look, but what you don't understand is that it's only girls that can get in. Every man is a suspect. Every man is a suspect, so you can't even come close. But don't worry, I, I, I need to just go in there and get her out. Okay, you, you know what? Why don't you just come straight to the house and park right in front of your gate? Then we go together to the school to pick her. All right, baby, I'll call you. Wait, I, I know. Me Easy. 
Yes, come in. Hello. Hello. You always look so gorgeous, my darling. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Wow, you such a relief hearing from you. Yes. I mean, it's like a breath of fresh air from the stress of having to read day in, day out, every time. I just flew into town and I decided to see you first before going home. Wow. Why don't you sit down? Sure. So how have you been? Not too good. Look, I've been so stressed out. My car has been giving me one, one hell of a crazy time. I've just been in and out of car issues and all that. I'm just praying to God that I, I, I get a new one, a replacement, you know? <laughs> Is that why you're looking so melancholous? Let me see you put a smile on that pretty face. As far as your car? Is going to be taken care of. Okay. Really? Yes, I will. Oh my God! Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks. And by the way, I got some of this for you. Oh no, you didn't. Yes, I did. Jesus! Oh my God! I know you're welcome. Wow! This is the limited edition. I just saw it today on the catalog. And I know you love them. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh. I love it. I love it. I will give you. Wow, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, come, 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 come. Anything for you. The bad, bad, badass, bad ones. Yeah. I can see that you don't have new clothes. I thought Shibu was joking when he said he gave you money for clothes. Mm. So when did you buy this one? Yesterday, Auntie. Nancy, yeah. so you now have a phone. <laughs> One that shall never end in this world. When did you buy it? With whose money? I said with whose money? What is, uh, what's the problem? What's going on? I'm asking Nancy here, who gave her money that she bought that phone with? The phone? Yes. So you be stealing my money in this side. Bring it out for come. Bring it out wait, the wait, 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 wait. Let me see that. Ha! Hey. Okay. This is my phone. What are you doing with my phone? Nothing, sir. Huh. Don't touch this phone again. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. God, God, you can go. Home. Come back and do your cleaning. What? 
What did you just say? Uh, can you can you repeat what you just said right now? Shibu, I said I can see that you're bringing her up to your test gradually. Are you going to kill me for saying that? What are you what are you blabbing about? You know very well what I'm talking about. I'm talking about you and Nancy, my little niece. <laughs> well, you, you know, it's it's obvious that that you're killing yourself. Oh, definitely. You're killing yourself being, being presumptuous about, about me and, and your niece. <laughs> I don't know about being presumptuous. I just said what I've noticed. <laughs> For Christ's sake, you've been giving her money to make her hair. Tell me, my dear husband, what other big plans do you have for her? Well, yeah, I don't need to remind you that that girl is your niece. For Christ's sake, I, I don't understand. I don't understand why you treat her the way you do. I don't. Hey, 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 Chibu, what have I done now? What did I say? For Christ's sake, what is wrong in a wife voicing out something that she noticed not going well in her home? What is wrong with that? Okay, you know what I want you to do? I want you to take a deep breath, reach deep inside of you, and understand the fact that that girl is your blood. And please treat her accordingly. Oh. Hi, Paul. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Very well. Did you? I'm fine. It's messy. Um, I guess she went out. You guess? Um, actually, she, she left the house before I woke up this morning. Okay, I hope you were not injured yesterday. I was meant to come pick you up, but she told me not to. Who? Mercy, of course. What happened? Weren't you the one that got trapped when Curtis stormed your campus yesterday? Oh. She told me she was coming to pick you up. I forgot. You know, I was, I was actually absent after she told you not to come with her yesterday. Okay. Paul, it was a terrible accident. <laughs> You needed to see what happened in school. But I thank God nobody was badly hurt. Yeah, thank God for that. Well, well, I just said to come check you and know how you're doing. Tell her to give me a call when she gets back. You didn't call her. I've been calling her line since last night and it's switched off. Fine, I'll let her call you. In fact, I'm not going to serve her food until she calls you. <laughs> take care of you. All right, take care of you. Bye bye. If she wasn't my blood, what would she be doing in my home? You know, take a good look at yourself. Look at you, all dressed for church. I just wonder, what, what kind of communication do you, you have with God when you're in church? What do you tell God? How do you communicate with God knowing the way you treat your own needs? I don't understand. In fact, that's the same way I think. I think of what goes in the mind of adulterers and fornicators when they sit in the church. What are you talking about? Well, why do you hate your own knees with so much passion? No, I don't hate her. In fact, tell me why do you love her with so much passion? Because I love you. Uh. I love you because you're my wife. And because you're my wife, I should be able to extend the same passion and love to your people. And in fact, respect them. Don't be a sports brat. Didn't they teach you in school? When you knock on the door, the person has to say come in before you come in. Is this in this boy's brat's father's house or outside? Hey, Barry, don't get me angry. Don't get me angry. Please leave my room before I get annoyed. And what will you do? Anyway, I just came to tell you that I don't want to wear this shoes polished for me. And just touch me, you will see what my mom will do to you. Iber, what is my business with your shoes that you don't want to wear? Do you want to wear my slippers? Hey, hey! And who wants your cheap slippers? All I want is that I want you to polish another pair of shoes for me. And so? You know what to do. Iber, leave my room and shut the door behind you before I get annoyed. Oh, 
Chief. I'm ready to go. Oh, honey. Why do you have to leave so early? The day just started. Chief, I told you that my mother is at home waiting for me. Okay? I had to turn on my phone because I'm sure she would be calling me all night to find out why I was not spending the night at home. I, if I don't go back now, she'll be so worried and I can't afford that. You shouldn't worry about that. There are a thousand reasons you can give her. You can tell her you went to a night vigil and you decided to attend morning mass before going home. No, you can't leave, right? Yeah. That's enough reason for you to give her. Chief, what about the car? I promise you, I'm going to replace that car before I leave town. Chief, this is the same thing you said to me the last time. Okay, okay, okay. And this is a check for 300000 Go take care of yourself and make sure you buy something beautiful for your mother. Thank you. You know I love you, right? I'll see you. I've got to go to you. Okay? And I have to go and lie to my mother because of you. since you refuse to answer. I didn't hear you. Today is the last Sunday of the month. With the Thanksgiving service and project contribution going on in the church today, we'll come back very late. So it's better she stays at home and make food that we we'll eat when we come back. And at least clean this house. Let's go. Uh, hold on. Just a minute. I don't know what you feel like right now with this stupid wig you're wearing. But sincerely speaking, I don't like it. And when I don't like something, I get it off my throat. Alright, let's uh... It's okay, um, Nancy. It's okay if you stay back at home, okay? Yes. Um, there are some clothes on the bed. I'd like you to help me wash them, please. What is the police all about? Let's go, we are late! Jesus, sister. 
Yeah. Where are you coming from? Hello. Today is Sunday. I'm coming from church. And you don't look like you've been to church yourself. I called your number all through last night and it was switched off. I went to your house earlier today and I was told you left very early in the morning. What's going on, Mercy? Look, sweetie, you know that yesterday's evening event just rattled everybody. We had to hold a night vigil. We all got so tired, I had to struggle to just make sure that at least I attend the morning mass. I knew you would be worried and that's why I just, from church, I came here directly. Morning mass? I thought you were Pentecostal. Oh gosh, I am Catholic. It's just that sometimes I join my friends and you know go to their Pentecostal churches and all of that. Oh, hold on. What's with the, so many questions and what's up with the sad face? Look, Paul, if you do not want me here, just you know what, don't worry. I'll just leave. No, no, listen, listen, I'm really sorry. I was just bothered. That's because I love you. I love you too. It's my girl. Now you give me that smile. Wait, wait, wait. Did, did you not hear that I just came back from church? And you're trying to seduce me? It doesn't matter. It, it does. No, it doesn't. No, no, no. Seriously. No, no, no. Seriously. Oh, it's just no, no, no. The two of us. Don't, it's not right. God can see us. So, babe, I tell you what, what's it? Okay, I've had Johnny far. Oh, anyway, Paul was here to see you this morning, and I told wait. him you already gone out before. Him. Wait, what did you tell him? Did you tell him about what we did last night? No. Oh, thank you, Jesus. This is what we did. Tell him what it's here. He would have contradicted everything that I had told him already. Now, fiances are not easy to come by these days, and I'm not ready to lose this one. Mercy, mm. don't you to think it's about time you told him the truth? Oh. I'll handle that business when the time comes. There's really nothing you can't do with money. I'll take care of that business, don't worry, chill. Meanwhile, how did the job go? Oh, that guy. <laughs> hey, babe. We handled him like he has never had it before. <laughs> I trust. You need to see the guy screaming now. I know. But the girls were asking for their money and I... I was going to give them their monies before the emergency to, you know, came up. No, I first thing tomorrow morning, I'll just I'll give it to them. And you are going to have a special bonus for taking care of business. Mercy, let's mercy. That's what's Thank up. Thank you so much. Oh girl, I'm tired. Okay. Let me just go in and rest my back. I had a long day. Okay. I'm so tired. I've had one hell of a long day. Welcome. Later. Okay.
Mercy. Hello, Nancy. Nancy, speak up a little. I can't hear you. I can't talk loud. I'm in the house. Are you all right? Mercy. I just wanted to talk to somebody. Just talk to somebody. So I can feel better. You see, the frustration here is becoming really much. So much. You see, I can't leave like that. I need to have a plan before I leave. I'll leave when the time is right. I'll leave when the time is right. Thank you, Mercy. I really appreciate it. Thank you. My feeling is so wicked. What's the problem? Mercy. You're more than a friend to me. You're my sister. You were a source of encouragement to me in my moment of despair. You comforted me. And you let me stay at your grandmother's. Thank you. What is that? Why, why, are, you, why are you telling me this? The miracle you've been praying for. Is going to become a reality. I'll give you the money I've been saving for you to go to school. You, do you remember that, my friend? I told you I met some time at the supermarket. Yes, I remember. She just, she sounded so frustrated. And she didn't tell you anything? She's obviously suffering wherever she is. I must do something to help her condition. Why? You want to help this one now? Chica, for everything that I am in this life, I owe it to that girl. Sorry, no dress. Say you will need that money. I promise you that. There will be school fees to be paid, bills to be settled, so many other things that will make your life easier. God will not forsake me, Mercy. I know that. But Nancy, hey, I, I know you're still upset about what happened. But you don't have to make a decision when you're still upset. Just think about it. You will need this money. Think about it, please. <laughs> 